for this amazing introduction. And I feel so super honored to be here tonight with all of you. It's amazing to watch the waves of, wow, feeling nervous, and then trying to ground, and being present, and breathe. So I would like to invite all of us just to take a deep breath. a lot of energy circulating in the room after all the beautiful speakers that we've had here and a lot of new information, a lot to take in and to process. And what I'm sharing with you tonight is something that is so dear to my heart and something that I'm extremely passionate about, self-love. And we hear that a lot, we hear that term a lot. Um, but what does that really mean, self-love, and how does it look like? on a daily basis? How does it feel like? What does it mean to really be rooted in self-love? And I love all the personal stories because we know that whatever is our deepest wound, whatever the journey is for us, whatever the process is for us, is the gift that we come here to share. And there's a reason for that, and a very divine reason. And I used to be my worst enemy. I, I'm going to use the word hate, because it was to that extreme, not knowing it back then, but I hated myself. I definitely didn't know what self-love was. I wanted to change every single thing about myself. That drove me to eating disorders in my early teens and late teens. And in my early 20s is when I started on my spiritual quest, at least the conscious spiritual quest, when I started practicing yoga, and I started teaching yoga, and started coaching people and getting into meditation. And that, that was the trigger, that was the catalyst to start accepting myself and loving myself. It was still the concept, though, of just understanding the concept of loving myself. And diving deeper and deeper into not just understanding self-love, but living self-love has been a huge, huge game changer for me. It's almost hard to express it in words. But the last few years have been so monumental. Taking self-love from understanding self-love to really living it and practicing it. Now the thing is, is that it is a practice. Because I don't know about you, I was never taught that. I was never taught, we don't hear that in school, we definitely don't see it on television. Our parents didn't know that. And we're here to make that shift that we are just so amazing. Every single one of you is so amazing and beautiful just by being you. We don't need to accomplish anything. We don't need to have anything on our walls. We don't need to prove anything. We don't need to have a series of accomplishments to actually be able to say, I am freaking awesome. Yeah. yeah, I am freaking amazing. I am a divine, beautiful piece of art. Every single one of you in this room is a piece of art. And that made such a shift for me, and to actually practice that every single day. And like I said, it's practice. It's practice because it's a muscle that we need to start pumping. If you think about going to the gym, You've never used your right leg ever in your life, ever. And all of a sudden, you, you're starting to notice, oh, I've got a right leg. You're not going to just start running, running a marathon. So it's slowly, slowly practicing 
giving that love to yourself and giving that, it's more than just self-love, it's really self-appreciation and that gratitude for the beautiful piece of art that you are. And to start seeing yourself as that piece of art. When was the last time that you really sat with yourself or looked in the mirror and said, I love you so much, so much. You're so amazing. You're so incredible. Thank you for everything that you are. And just be with that. And do that every single day and every single morning that you wake up. And just be with yourself for those moments. Wow, I'm, I am so amazing. I am so, so incredible. I love you so much. Let's not forget that this is the relationship that you have with yourself is the most committed relationship you're ever going to be in. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. 24-7, 365, there's nowhere to go. <laughs> nowhere to go. <laughs> and we try. We have our ways to like, let me just check out from this relationship, but guess what? You're always here. And I don't know if you've ever been in a relationship where your partner never tells you, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm super grateful for you. You're so incredible. You're so amazing. You make my life so much better and greater. How long are you going to stay in that relationship? Thanks. I hope so. But again, we can't really go anywhere from the, with this relationship. We can't. So might as well make the best of it. And the shift started to happen for me. We hear a lot on this spiritual quest, and I so appreciate all of you gathering in this space because we are all here. We are inspired to really be our best selves, which is awesome. And it's so beautiful to watch because we are creating an, a more of an elevated society and an elevated world and elevated humanity. But taking the, 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 the hard work in, and I know some speakers talked about that, and I really appreciate that, from working on myself. I just need to work on myself. Again, it all comes from a beautiful place of wanting to grow and wanting to evolve. But what if instead of working on yourself, you just start loving on yourself? Right and on. radically, radically, and I'm using the word radical because at least for my, in my case, it has been, it was radical in the opposite direction for way too long. So it might be weird at the beginning, or you might even think, oh, I don't need to say I love you to myself, or I don't need to say to myself that I appreciate myself. I know all of that, but again, if you've ever been in a relationship when you start taking each other for granted, and how does that look like? that relationship crumbles. So that's the foundation. We hear a lot, we heard a lot about all kind of different choices and health. And we have so many choices in front of us and what to choose for our mental health and physical health and emotional health and spiritual health and spiritual development. But what is the foundation to all that? When I am rooted in self-love and self-appreciation and that deep gratitude for myself, there's really no other choice. Whatever comes in front of you, whatever is the highest and best choice, that's the choice. Because when you love yourself so much, when you're rooted in that, you know nothing less but the best for me. Nothing but the best. And you start noticing your food choices changing. 
and your routine starting to change. And you really start adding into your life those <laughs> things that you know make you feel good in your body and in your mind and in your heart and in your spirit. And not beat yourself up for not making those choices, but actually just have the love and the compassion for yourself. And love yourself in those moments, not just when there's big accomplishments or you're doing the right things, but it's actually in those moments when you are the most broken, that you still can look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, you're freaking amazing. And thank you for who you are. Because I love you no matter what. You hear unconditional love. Ourselves. No matter what. If you can just play with me for a moment, I'd like to close with this. You can please close your eyes. And place your hands on your heart. And this is something you can take into your life. Just start practicing that. much. I appreciate you so much. You are my best friend. You are my best companion for life. I am here for you and I will always be here for you because you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thanking yourself over and over again. I just want to share this quote with you. You can keep your eyes closed and your hands on your heart and please take that into your heart and into your life. It's hopefully a new practice for you and strengthen that muscle of how much you love yourself and appreciate yourself no matter what. Go and love someone exactly as they are. And then watch how quickly they transform into the greatest, truest version of themselves. When one feels seen and appreciated in their own essence, one is instantly empowered. And that someone is you. Thank you so much. So I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. Stay, stay in this centered place within yourself. Just connect to your breath. And we are going to receive a transmission from a beautiful woman tonight through song.